Uh, the International Road Federation is one of the, if not the leading agency that pertains to roads in the world. And um, they usually have a Caribbean Congress. And this year, the 10th Caribbean Congress, Regional Congress is being held in Barbados. And um, the Congress will invite road safety, engineering, and other professionals who are involved in our road building to the conference to share on their vast experiences and also to display exhibits and matters related to road building, road engineering, and, um, and road safety. The Congress is being held from June 7th to 10th at the Lloyd Erskine Sandy Ford Center. On the 7th, we will have some training, training sessions, but the meat of the conference is really the AFP 9th and the 10th. Over those days, we will have um, a number of sessions. I think the most important one, or the most exciting one, will be the ministerial session. This time around, we have had responses from nine ministers from the region, including uh, Puerto Rico, who will be attending the conference. So that ministerial session is going to kick the conference off. We will be having discussions on climate change and the resilience of climate change, the impact that COVID-19 has had on road infrastructure. We'll be looking at the um, decarbonization of the roads by 2050, also looking at road safety issues because road safety is one of the major themes of the, um, of the conference. And another important thing from the conference will also be the networking opportunities which will be available because it's not often that we get engineering professionals, or certainly yeah, engineering professionals in the same space. And we will use that and leverage that to make sure that various experiences are shared and also that we will build long-term long -term regional relationships where we can consult with our, with our regional partners. I think the fact that we are having our nine ministers of responsibility for transport is, is very exciting. Not only is it exciting, but it provides a platform whereby those ministers can sit down and have a caucus and discuss uh, matters related to, to road building, specific um, road infrastructure, and the whole question of the climate change resilience. I think this will also allow them to share different country experiences and it will redound to the benefit of the region, the fact that we're having so many ministers of transport and infrastructure in the same, in the same space. We are having ministers from um, Jamaica, Guyana, Dominica, Turks and Caicos, Cayman, Puerto Rico, and also from Trinidad and Tobago. And we will, along with the ministers, we will be, they'll be accompanied by their permanent secretaries. And in a number of instances, the directors of infrastructure or the directors of road transport. So we expect to have very, very high level uh, delegations. We also have personnel who will be coming from um, the World Bank, the IDB, and the CDB. At the local level, we would wish for engineering professionals and we've sent out invitations to the various, to the various group. We've also invited those persons who are into road building. We have certainly extended um, invitations to persons involved in road safety. And we have taken the opportunity to invite a number of public sector officials who, though not working with the Ministry of Transport Works and Maintenance, but they work will overlap with us as it relates to, to our planning and other matters related to road safety and, um, and, um, and public transport. There are a number of um, high-level high level speakers who are accustomed to speaking at various IRF events and these speakers are in, involved in areas such as um, infrastructure planning, they look at the impact climate change has had on road infrastructure. There's always a very critical road safety, road safety component. And this year we are looking at um, the decarbonization. And um, these speakers are from varied backgrounds. Some of them are professionals in that they have their own engineering practices. 
We also have persons from academia and um, personnel who are members of the International of the International Road Federation. Now the ministry has been working for the last six months in putting putting all the necessary information together and making the making the necessary arrangements. I must say that we we are happy with where we are at this stage. We usually have team meetings with the IRF representatives once a week and we are anxiously and eagerly looking forward to the to the bringing this conference to Barbados and importantly to ensure that some of our local professionals benefit from the exchanges which will take place during this conference, this Congress. One thing that our local experts will be able to benefit from, we also have some exhibitors who will be coming to exhibit their products. And one of those exhibitors is a company that manufactures slurry seal. Now, I'm not an engineer, but as I understand it, slurry seal is a mix that is used to spread on the surface of the road where there are cracks and this seal seals it as it says to prevent water from entering the road and destroying the um, destroying the sub base so we will we this will give us as a ministry an opportunity also to speak with these people and look at the various products that they have to offer and maybe in the long run there may be opportunities for partnerships to get materials which are on the cutting edge to assist us with our, um, road, our road building, but most critically our road maintenance.